Well, 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 my friends, everybody knows that an apple a day keeps the defenders away. But do you know what else keeps the defenders away? The skill move that we have for you. Let's go. C, 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 C. Okay, guys, now, when you're in a tight spot, you have to know what to do, and that's what we've got for you today. Every single player knows that at a certain point in the game, you're going to have to figure out how to keep the ball, and then you're gonna to have to figure out how to get out of it to go attack the goal, all right? So that's what we've got for you today, and the very first thing that you need to know is that when you are in this tight spot, whether the ball is bouncing, whether you've taken a bad touch, or whether you even are just being pressured by three or four guys, you have to protect the ball. The very first thing you will do to get out of trouble is protect the ball. And how do you protect the ball? Usually, it's shielding, okay? You could, I don't know, maybe you could try bribing the other defender. Maybe if you have an apple, right? Or maybe if you, I don't know, maybe you just take out a phone, okay? You just hand them the phone and say, here, take my phone. Can I just take the ball and go the other way? You gotta think outside the box, guys, okay? But for those of you guys that don't have a phone or don't have an apple, let's take a, let's take a little time out here. Okay, for those of you guys that don't have an apple, you're gonna to need to know how to shield. And there's only a few things and a few points that you need to understand. When the ball is bouncing, get it under control, use your arm, okay? Use your arm to create as much distance between you and the defender and the ball, all right? So the defender is here, the ball's here, I've got my foot extended, all right? And everything that I wanna do with that is just keep the ball and stay light. You don't wanna get planted when you, when you protect the ball, you don't wanna get flat-footed. All right, we wanna keep our mobility, we wanna stay agile, and that's what we're gonna do here by defending like this. Once we set ourselves up like that, we have so much available to us, all right? All these things happen really quick, all right? The higher the level you play, the quicker this is gonna be. So the very first thing you need to do, boom, put your, put your body into that defender, it's not a foul. Use your arm, okay? If you grab, you're gonna get called for a foul. But use your body, and that's what's gonna create this situation where now you can do a little something we call the body faint, all right? Okay. Okay, my friends, now that we've got the situation under control by protecting the ball, the next thing you have to do is get out. The most important thing you can do to get out of a tight situation is a body faint. Why is it the most important thing? Well, because you can actually use this to go in any direction and it's gonna set you up for the actual move, all right? So we've got one more section where we're gonna actually show you guys exactly what you can do, but the body faint is the setup for this. And a perfect body faint is going to contain all of your body, all right? It is not stiff. You guys have to throw your hip down like this, all right? You have to be free flowing with it. One of the things that I know a lot of players and a lot of young players, you wanna have everything under control and you wanna have the perfect technique and I'm gonna do this and then a step over and then I'm gonna do this and he's gonna fall down and I'm gonna shoot it. You guys aren't gonna be able to. The higher the level you go, the more reactionary you are going to have to be. Everything has to be in your subconscious, all right? If you don't take one thing away from this, understand that you have to train so that everything is your subconscious so that when you get in this situation in the game, you go boom, body faint, and then pull your move. All right, that's what we want. So just remember those key points for the body faint, drop your shoulder, drop your hips. Don't worry about knowing where the defender is going to go and all do all this stuff. It will open up to you. You have to trust in the process. You have to have faith in your skill and your ability. So when I throw my body feints and do all this stuff and watch the guys that you guys all love, like Messi doing his body feints, he doesn't know what the defender is going to do. All right, you read the game after. All right, so that's the most important thing about a body feint. And from there, we can go in to actually destroying destroying the defender. Well, my friends, we have come to the point now where we can destroy the defenders because we have protected the ball first, got control of the situation, we threw a body feint to keep them on their toes and now we need to execute the move to get us out of trouble. You'll most likely have a defender on your back. Boom, I put my body there, all right? I maybe throw a body feint like this, and now we've got to execute, all right? And so execution, one of the easiest ones for you guys to do, 
is a simple drag over and then turn the ball back. Why? Because I'm pretending that we're inside the box or just outside the box. And the most important thing for you is to try and get a shot on goal. You just want to have an opportunity. Now, if you see in the perfect execution of something like this, after I've protected, done my body faint, gone like this, all right, I can just shoot. I don't have to know where the goalie is. The first thing you need to understand is just where the goal is. After that, everything will come to you, okay? So just a mini 10 second masterclass on what the great finishers do is that they know where they are in the goal. Once your star player does something like this, he doesn't even look again. He knows that because his body is going this way, the goalie is gonna be going this way, the defender is gonna be going this way. Where's the best place to shoot? Across your body, all right? Depending on where you are in the field, you guys are gonna to have to judge for that, whether or not you need to go near post or not, but that's just another extra thing that you have to know. You ready for the sick Nola crossbar? Nailed it. Um, guys, that's the vid. Make sure to go right down below. Subscribe, like, comment down below. About the apples, check out our playlist, please. We've got sick playlists. For you here at Unisport, we make sick playlists. We've got great gear. I'm eating an apple live for you. Okay, so subscribe, please, God. For the love of God, sub would you subscribe, please? Okay, see you. You subscribe? All right, see you later. Thanks, guys.